Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our case today is term infant is born in, in poor condition following antepartum hemorrhage. The infant takes a few deep gasps, then stop breathing, heart rate is 57 beat per minute. And this is the x-ray. You see, this is the x-ray. Baby is gasping, so positive pressure ventilation was given, uh, and there is poor chest movement and decrease air entry or breathe sound bilateral. There is little response to ventilation. So trans elimination was done in the, is performed. And there is no difference between the two sides. And the ATT immediately inserted and both bridge of ventilation given. And still no chest rising and cannot appreciate breathe sound bilateral. As patient is not improving. So butterfly needle is inserted on the right side. Few bubbles are seen. But there is a then stop. Bubbles is coming, then stop. This x-ray, you need to answer three questions. The first question, what does x-ray show? Second, how do you explain the clinical story? And what you uh, what will you do next? See? So this is the x-ray. You see the ATT, it's high. And there is bilateral pneumosauruses. Bilateral pneumosauruses. So this is uh, the x-ray. Uh, what x-ray show? Show the ATT in the position and bilateral pneumosauruses. What, how explain this pneumothorax it happened at birth? Baby just delivered. Why this pneumothorax it happened? It's two reasons. Either from the gasping respiration it's happened or from positive pressure ventilation is commenced immediately because the baby is gasping and the heart rate is then 60. So we have to get positive pressure ventilation. This explanation of the pneumothorax. But the trans illumination is no difference. Why is no difference? Actually, it's very difficult to diagnose bilateral pneumothorax. Why? Because all the sign is equal in both sides. So it's very difficult. And you have to do the emergency uh, procedure to put the butterfly in the second intercostal space and look for the bubbles. If there is bubble seen, this means explain there is pneumothorax and it explain the deterioration of the baby before the x-ray will come. Then we can take the x-ray and uh, we cannot keep this butterfly for a long time because it's very small and can be blocked. So you have to insert intercostal drain to drain and so should be bilateral to just drain the bilateral pneumothorases. So uh, this is the uh, bag is done and uh, actually the x-ray show bilateral pneumothorases and uh, there is intracranial tube in the position and there is a butterfly needle. This is one of the emergency uh, is inserted in the right chest. If you see here, this is in the second intercostal space, in second intercostal space, mid clavicular line, second mid in uh, second intercostal space, mid clavicular, mid clavicular. Here, this is the clavicle, mid the clavicle, it will be mid clavicle. Second intercostal space, it, it will be blue the uh, clavicle. So you have to insert it immediately if you suspect uh, tension pneumothorax or pneumothorax to help this baby. So how do you explain the clinical story? The pneumothorax may have been present following the gasping respiration or following the initial ventilation. Either it's due to the gasping respiration or due to positive pressure ventilation. Bilateral pneumothorax may be is difficult to diagnose. Why would it, it's difficult to diagnose bilateral pneumothorax? Because all signs are equal in both sides. It's very difficult really. Although needle drain, it's allow for reinflation of the lung and expansion of the lung after the needle insertion. And actually, we cannot keep this needle for a long time because very small pores and can be blocked. What is the solution? Immediately insertion of bilateral chest drain. If the baby does not improve with chest tube, if you are insert the chest tube or bilateral chest tube intercostal drain, and still the baby is not improving, this suspect extra rural air uh, leaks like pneumoretroprotonium pneumoretroprotonium if the baby is not improved after chest tube indicate what extra pleural air leaks where is the air the air actually it will be retroprotonium we call it pneumoretroprotonium which has been reported in infant with pneumothorax if the air is still present on the x-ray consider this to the causes if you if you drain the pneumothorax 
uh, and excluded the extra pleural uh, leak and still you did x-ray and still the pneumothorax is present uh, indicate what four or five issues you have to think about it the causes of not resolutions of the pneumothorax or the pneumothorax is still in the x-ray either the tube it was blocked or disconnected or displaced the problem with the tube or underwater seal ineffective underwater seal or there is new air leaks that happen or the lung perforation happen so this is the causes of still pneumothorax is present in the x-ray you have to exclude tube block tube displaced to con disconnect or under water seal ineffective or not working or not functioning well or there is new air leak that happen or lung perforation at the end i would like to pray to my colleagues is going for exam our board saudi board and jordan jordanian board and egyptian board my colleagues and unit al fellowship as allah rabbil arsh al azim an yunajjah kull zumala'ana li dakhlin imtihanat wa an yanfa'bihim ya rabbil alamin ashkurukum salamu alaykum